In this short video, we want to look how diodes can be used to convert AC current into DC current. Let's have a look at what the specification says. It says, recall that four diodes can be used in the construction of a bridge to obtain full wave rectification. Full wave rectification just means converting from AC to DC. The construction of the bridge is this section in the circuit here. You can see the four diodes. You need to be aware of how they're set up. Look at how they're organised. Look at the pattern that they're in. For the A grade work, we now need to explain how the four diodes in the bridge produce full wave rectification. That's what I hope to explain now. Let's consider the source. That's on the left hand side of the diagram. It's AC electricity. The electricity is going backwards and forwards as indicated by these arrows here. Let's look at the red and blue arrows. We can see the red arrows are flowing clockwise, while the blue arrows are flowing anticlockwise. Why is this important? Well, it's showing the AC electricity. Sometimes the electricity flows anticlockwise, and sometimes the electricity is flowing clockwise. But how do we convert that into DC? You're going to have to follow my laser pointer. Now imagine that the electricity from the source is flowing clockwise for the moment. We follow the red arrow. It reaches the bridge. There are now two directions that the electricity could flow. This way or this way. We'll look at the diodes. This diode means that the electricity cannot flow backwards through the diode. So it has to flow down through this diode here. There are now two routes for it to flow at this point, but again, it can't flow backwards through the diode, so it needs to flow in this direction. Look at the red arrow up here, and flow through the load. Then back round into the bridge, where it can flow out. Let's consider the blue arrow. Again, the electricity can flow backwards and forwards. We're going to consider it flowing anticlockwise. We flow through and into the bridge. It cannot flow back towards the left because the diode is facing the wrong direction. So we flow through this diode, around, through the circuit. The blue arrow and the red arrows are facing the same direction. Direct current. the electricity can then flow back through the source. Now you will notice that this circuit doesn't do anything more than really flip sections of the AC electricity upwards, making the voltage positive and making it into direct current because the electricity is flowing in the same direction. But that electricity doesn't really look like the DC that we want from a power pack because it isn't a constant voltage. We're going to have to do something extra to do that. Here we have our circuit again. We have our bridge in the middle. Look at how the diodes are arranged. But we also have something extra. We have a component here. That's a capacitor. And you need, for an A grade, to explain the action of a capacitor in a simple smoothing circuit. Look what it's done to our graph of DC electricity. It is certainly smoothed the output. How does it do that? A capacitor can be charged and discharged, which means that it can store charge. That means that it will 
store the charge on this little part of the graph when the voltage is going up and then slowly release it in this part of the graph meaning the voltage doesn't immediately decrease to zero. You can say that the capacitor helps to smooth the output through charging and discharging. So just remember that we have four diodes that are required to make the circuit to change AC electricity into DC electricity that it is set up so that whichever way the electricity is flowing from the left hand side of the circuit when it reaches the right hand side it can only flow one way around and that we use a capacitor to help smooth our DC output. Hope that has been of some help.